So let's track temperatures for tomorrow. First of all, we want to start in our central and northern counties because that front will be arriving a lot quicker for us. So let's say Highway 79 and northward as we head into tomorrow. Very muggy to start. Maybe some patchy drizzle or a light shower. The front arriving between about 9 and noon. When the front arrives, especially if you're south of Interstate 20, that temperature is going to drop into the 50s by the midday hour. North of I-20 between about 9 and 10 a.m that temperature will already begin to fall for you as it'll head down into the 50s. A good chance for us to see some showers into the afternoon hours, even an isolated storm, and that rain chance will slowly begin to taper off as we move into the evening. But this rain chance will actually be higher in deep east Texas for tomorrow. Let's look at that forecast because it is a lot different. Look at how much we warm up first into the lower and the mid 70s for our deep east Texas counties. And notice the cold front not coming in until between 3 and and six o'clock when that front comes in, we're looking at a much better chance for showers and thunderstorms there, and then the rain chance really doesn't taper off. It's going to remain likely as we move into Tuesday evening, Tuesday night into Wednesday for us over our southern counties. Let's show you that now with future cast. There's the cold front tonight. It is approaching near DFW and moving toward Interstate 30 here this evening. Overnight, maybe one or two isolated showers or a storm might try to form. Doesn't look to be anything significant. We'll start to see some mist and drizzle increase and a couple of showers into tomorrow morning. Get a little bit of daytime heating north of the front. We're cooling down south of the front, warming up a lot more. And that'll allow us to get into the mid afternoon where we could see some heavier bands of rain and some storms, especially for deep east Texas, where the front has not moved through north of the front. It's just mostly going to be some general showers and thunderstorms, but it also is turning cooler for many of us. And then here's the rain that will continue into Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. Maybe just some light to moderate rain, but enough to keep the ground wet into early on Wednesday morning in deep east Texas. For some of us, we'll start Wednesday dry and then more rain is going to begin to pick back up into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Heaviest rainfall amounts likely to occur in our southern areas, and that's where we could see maybe that one to three inches as a possibility. But for everyone, we could easily pick up about an inch of rain. So here we go with cooler weather to come in over the next few days. Rain tomorrow. Rain picks up again late Wednesday afternoon into early Thursday. Then we'll dry out hopefully by Thursday afternoon. But the heaviest rain does look to set up in deep east Texas and that's where our rain chances will be likely. Still warm tomorrow before that storm chance and the cold front arrives. Oh well we're used to the rain at this point. <laughs> yes, Marcus. We are. Thank you.